Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be the October 2020 message for our Leos, okay? So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node. It does not matter, love. If you in any way identify as a Leo, then this reading is for you, all right? Now, welcome back to anybody who is returning and welcome, welcome to anybody who is new. Let us go ahead and get into these readings, you all, and see what energy is present for the month of October 2020 for all of my Leos, all right? Please do keep in mind, guys, that I am currently available for personals, all right? That information can be found in the description box beneath this video. Let us see, let us see. I do believe we only have evening times available for next week. All right, but I do think we have some morning times the week after. So check out the schedule. Oh, no. All right, Leo, let us see what these messages are for you. October 2020. Fulfillment of wishes. Winning. All right, it's 111 on the timestamp. You guys are walking through a portal, okay? So be sure to keep all of your thoughts clear, positive, and focused on what it is that you truly desire and what it is that you genuinely want. This is like Nine of Cups energy. So I feel like everything that... That you guys have been wanting for a while is happening for you all right so with all of these things happening it's like <clears throat> you have love too all right you have so many things it's like think of getting your dream job think of getting the dream girl or guy think of all of those things all at one time you being in just a happy space in life you feeling like you're manifesting easily your emotions being able to flow organically and you just you know being true to who you are and all of this just feeling amazing that's the space that you're going to be in for this month okay so that's awesome guys we also have the number nine here yeah we have temptation in reverse so you guys are freeing yourself from any type of low vibrational or devilish like energy all right anything that was trying to hold you back any self-doubt or um fears you guys have worked through um all types of trauma and all of that okay with this temptation energy in reverse all of that this is awesome guys we have here choose wisely in reverse too now with this choose wisely energy Keep in mind that this is the nine, um, nine of Cups and this is the Seven of Cups, okay? So with the Seven of Cups, that's actually good for it to be in reverse, okay? We have spiritual strength at the bottom. The Seven of Cups represents illusions, being all in your head, being all over the place. For somebody to know exactly what it is that they want, this is why it's in reverse. You know exactly what it is that you want. You're no longer distracted by things that seem like the real thing or look like it's what you want. But no, you're going for the thing you actually want. You're going for the person you actually want to be with. You're living in the energy that you actually want to. To represent and be in okay so this is beautiful leo okay it looks like you're in your sun energy messages for leo october 2020 messages for leo october 2020 Alright, fulfillment of wishes. Why is this here for Leo? Spirit, October 2020. Ooh, okay. We got the four wands. What did I say? Stability, security, feeling safe, feeling like you have what you need, everything is in its place, and now you can relax a little bit because you've worked hard and you plan to get to this place. So everything that you've planned and everything that you work for has come together. That's the four of wands. Some of you are actually, too, in a twin flame situation. This is like a twin flame union card. Okay. Some of you could be in a situation with an earth sign. Okay. Could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Some of you are just becoming a very dependable and reliable person. Okay. So let us see, guys. What messages Spirit has for you? Okay. Four of Wands. Fulfillment of wishes for Leo, please. We got the Fool card. So you're taking chances. Taking risks. Alright. Not being afraid to go out there and try new things, guys. Stepping outside of your comfort zones. 
going in the direction of your north node, simplifying your life as well. We have the death card, okay? So some of you are definitely, like I said, stepping into this brand new beginning where you are no longer in a low vibrational energy, okay? You're operating on your frequency. This yellow in the background represents your um, solar plexus. You guys are ruled by the sun. You are solar plexus ruled, okay? So... You are definitely operating from your power. I like this. We have the two of wands in reverse, and we have the title card in reverse. So I feel like you guys were doubting yourself. Okay, you were going back and forth for a while between doubting yourself, believing in yourself, doubting the connection, and believing in the connection. And now you're on one accord with both. You've invested. You're waiting to see the harvest of your investment. You're waiting to see the return on your investment. All right. When it comes to your friends, too, I'm feeling like a lot of you are rearranging the people that you interact with, not because you don't care about people, but because you're recognizing the value of your energy. All right. <clears throat> Choose wisely in reverse. OK, choose wisely in reverse for our Leos. We got the temperance energy. So now instead of you being all over the place, you're doing things in moderation, bit by bit, piece by piece, one thing at a time. Okay, you're healing. Temperance is all about healing. Okay, mind, body, and spirit. All chakras are balancing themselves out right now. Okay, you're learning how to tap into your emotions. And like I said, blocking out people who do not resonate with your frequency. All right, let's go around one more time. Four of Wands for our Leos. Four of Wands for our Leos. Let us see. Oh, oh, hold on, Leo. We got the Eight of Cups and the Empress in reverse. Okay, yeah. So I feel like a lot of you were, like I said, you weren't allowing yourself to become who you're really meant to be with the World Card in reverse. And this is why you're simplifying your life and starting over. A lot of you. Okay, you're letting go of whatever dead weight, baggage, anything that may have been holding you back. All right, the Fool Card. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. All right. A lot of you are walking away from things and people that you feel like were holding you back. Things and people you feel like were not appreciating you. All right. We have the two of wands here. People that were making you feel unsecure, not stable. OK, we have the page of swords. So now you're you're living in truth and you're at the beginning stages of it because pages are either young or inexperienced or just starting. So you're at the beginning stages of living in your truth, okay? Stepping outside of that energy because you're tired of going back and forth round and round again with the same thing. You're ready to restore your hearts. Like I said, you're learning how to heal yourself, okay, with the temperance energy here. Block out energies that do not resonate with your frequency. Gosh, guys, hold on. Temperance. <laughs> you got the seven of pentacles. Like I said, you have invested wisely. Now you're just waiting on those things that you've invested into to come back to you, waiting on, waiting on the return of the investment. We have that three of cups in reverse. Like I said, you're blocking out any friendships or connections that just don't resonate with you. That's the type of energy you're on. Choose wisely. Five of pentacles. We have the seven of wands in reverse. Anybody you feel like you have to constantly defend yourself against or protect yourself against or defend your honor or anything like that, you're over. We have here the six of cups. All right, so this could even include siblings for some of you, childhood friends. You don't care. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. So you're moving very slow and steady. All right. Your guidance card is journey. All right. Spirit wants for you to just simply enjoy the journey that you are on. Do not allow anybody, no distractions, no anything to throw you off. Remember, you're stepping outside of this temptation energy and you're going in a whole new direction. All right. You're going towards stability. All right. And you're doing so in a slow and steady type of way. So I hope this helps you guys. If this was your message or you enjoyed it, please.